In this exercise, we're going to use the sample MEP project located in your common folder. So in this exercise, I'm going to quickly run through and create spaces for all my levels as we have done before. I'm not going to bother with renaming them, as in this instance, that process isn't critical. Just making sure that as I place them, I'm checking everything from the options toolbar. And finally, let's go for level three and create those spaces up to the roof. Zero, place those automatically. OK. So I'm now ready to use the heating and cooling loads calcs. And I'm presented with a message saying space volumes not computed. The message here reads, you have chosen to compute only areas in the computation settings, which means Revit approximates the volume for spaces. Do you want to enable the areas and volume setting instead? It then goes on to read, while computing only areas is faster, approximating space volume can result in the analytical model being incorrect because Revit does not use the actual boundary elements of the space to compute that volume. Rather than clicking on yes here, what I want to do is show you where we can change that setting. So let's just cancel this for the time being and come to the architecture tab. Under room and area, I've got area and volume computations. If you get that error from the heating and cooling loads dialog box, what we really need to do is click on areas and volumes, and it tells me volumes are computed at finish faces. Click on OK. Now, if I go back to the analyze tab and click on heating and cooling loads, we'll get the analytical model displayed. 